Good morning lovely people. Well, good morning it is for me here. Um, not even seven o'clock. My video is about and will be about what do you do when a snake's at the door? And many of you probably already know for me exactly what that is and what one should do. And I'm going to do it right now. And that is, you take the lock off and you open the door. <laughs> and, and you make your snake fall down. No, not really. Lily figures out where the opening is and comes on out and that's what you do you let your snake come on out and for me that doesn't matter what time of the day or night it happens to be they're at the door letting me know that they want to come out I open the door and the more you do that the more they want it and the more they like it and the more they will show you that they want to come out and that is how Lily has evolved and where she is today with her behavior and how she is <laughs> what are you doing you just laying there looking at looking at coming out but of course in Lily's own time not in my time but this is really something that you start, you know, it all starts when you are getting them out and you're handling them. But it can't be just about handling them. They don't particularly want you to hold them the whole time. And why I say to people, create an environment if you can hi sweetie hi sweetie that they can enjoy be it a little environment um, such as of course you all know the jungle gym and that was perfect when they were little and even little they're very good at grabbing things and holding things and clinging to things and, and all the rest of it. to just something like this for them to lay on and crawl on. Um, you've seen me make the garden trellis, you know, that uh, rubber garden trellis, which I turned into an arch 
for them to climb on and sit on because like I said they don't necessarily want you <laughs> I see you are you waiting for me to help you out to get going mm. I'll let it go for a little bit longer and let it come out a little bit more so it's not such hard work for me either at this hour of the morning with the uh, um, bones aching as they say you're going to come up here because Molly's not there is she hey can we see her there she's a bit in the dark she is but yes yeah, creating you know the environments for them to enjoy it I know not all of you are able to you know do a big setup for them in the room but you can do something little and mobile that you can move around you know, Lily comes from one room to the other room and you all know that she's done that in her life you know my lounge room my bedroom and Lily has actually to be honest never been in this particular room this is pretty brand new um, to Lily this area I can't see where you're going doll I just can't see and I don't want you disappearing she just wants to explore she just wants to check where she can go what she can climb because this is all different and and strange for her so she most definitely wants to explore and check things out the bathroom while I have my showers if she's out wanting out just as I'm deciding to go have a shower oh, oh Lily you're in the dark thank you thank you I can see you now you coming up yes you're still in the dark you're in the shadows sweetie you know she loves exploring new spaces and I think that is only because she spends so much time out anyway that she believes that this enclosure is only where she goes to and it's not even to rest I can't say it's to go and rest because she utilizes up there to go and sleep and rest all day so it's more about she's just very comfortable out of her enclosure so as I said it starts when they're very 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 young and it just goes from there and it just becomes so I'm trying to get some shots of her but she is in the dark and she I'll have to spin around and uh, bring her back over here for you to see her because she is there yeah have a look out the window okay can you look out the window no nope. that iridescent is just beautiful on Lily and she shed you know a couple of weeks ago so she's still looking very 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 beautiful as I spin around again sorry if I make you dizzy when I do that yeah it starts young and then you end up with an extremely social snake but when you see them at the door it is so important to open it because it registers in their brain and they know if I go to that door if I start climbing it and moving around in front of it she will notice me and then mum opens the door for me and then in doing that that means not necessarily I will handle her 
sometimes you all know that I I do handle her but a lot of the time Lily knows she gets to come out she gets to climb up she gets to go to a hangout spot make herself comfortable for the day and if she chooses she goes to sleep sometimes she explores for a little while and does something different which is fine by me Lily knows this place inside out and back to front so unless something has actually changed Lily just makes her way to the hangout spot but she will notice if there's something different in this room and she has to check it out she has to see what it is it's because they are so curious and they want to figure things out they they need to know what is that and why is that there and I don't necessarily believe it's anything to do with is it dangerous? Is it going to hurt me? Because I also believe that Lily knows I would have nothing here that is dangerous and that would harm her because that's the relationship that I have. So, like I said, you see them at the door and you want that social snake, but remember it starts young by getting them out and letting them explore and climb on things and then you end up with an adult that's going to come to the door because they've tweaked they've figured you out you've learnt by their behaviour too exactly what it is that they're asking of you open the door because if you don't they won't come to the door they won't bother because they figure out that too that action is a complete and utter waste of my time because it doesn't get me out my person isn't doing what I'm asking them to do and it is an ask they are actually asking you something so guys Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, press the like. If you haven't already, subscribers. She's turning on my speaker there for me. But most of all, take care of yourself, your family, your friends, your snakes, and all your animals. Ciao.